I start a tutorial. Uh, my name is Wang Sugian, a research associate professor of EE in Kaisei. Uh, the title of my uh, tutorial is the Vision Analysis and its Applications in Artificial Intelligence. Uh, my major uh, is statistics and vision on parametrics and survival analysis. Uh, so I want to uh, apply the Bayesian concept to artificial intelligence and uh, reason to work about the uh, statistical properties of uh, the neural net and others. Uh, these are the content of my tutorial. Uh, the past covers the uh, basic concept and some important property and some definition of Bayesian non-parametrics. And the second part is about applications in machine learning or and artificial intelligence. Uh, first, I introduced the definition of a concept of probability and Bayesian very roughly. Uh, my tutorial is for the understanding of the Bayesian concept and application in AI. So the most important uh, thing is the understanding the fast Bayesian and the, uh, how to Bayesian analysis can be done. Uh, it's the slide for the very uh, typical definition of probability. The probability P is defined on omega and V where omega is a sample space and V is the border sigma field on omega. Uh, anyway, P is the probability P is the set function from V to their values between 0 and 1. V is the set of the sets, the element of which are subsets of omega. Uh, usually, the element of V are called as events and the probability has very famous three axioms. It is called as cosmographer axiom. The cosmographer is the Russian uh, mathematician. The first axiom is that uh, for all elements of V, the probability is the negative. And the second is that the probability of omega is equal to 1. And the third is that for any counter sequence of this joint subset of omega, denoted by A1 to omega, uh, the probability of the uh, union of this subset is equal to the summation of all probability of this subset. It is called as counter relativity. The main contribution of Kolmogorov is to construct this axiom. From this axiom, you can define the limit distribution and the stochastic process. And the random variable y can be defined like this. And the random variable has a distribution function f. And f is indexed from the probability. And we assume that there exists a probability density function, py, uh, such that, uh, like this. Uh, here, u is a dominating measure. Usually, u, u can be a living measure uh, or a counting measure. Uh, it's the very uh, mathematical uh, formulation. But from now on, I says the probability of y uh, by use of the uh, probability density function. The probability of y can be represented by the probability density function. So I use the probability of y uh, by the use of the probability density function. Uh, the previous cosmography axioms are very elegant in mathematics, and all theories of probabilities and the stochastic process come from these axioms. The usual properties of probabilities uh, come from these uh, axioms. But the interpretation of the probabilities to stream, uh, the first is the frequentist interpretation. And the second is the Bayesian interpretation. Uh, usually the frequentist interpret the probability as the long-term frequency among the 
infinitely very many repetitions uh, up to over long term frequency uh, is the probability, is the frequentist interpretation. And the interpretation of Bayesian is that uh, degrees of the belief is the probability. It's only the degrees of the belief. Uh, for example, uh, consider the probability of an event that tomorrow will be rainy, 1.3. Uh, what's the meaning of this probability? The frequentist interpret this probability uh, uh, like this. Among the infinitely many days of exact same situations of tomorrow, 30 percent days will be rainy. It's the uh, interpretation of the frequentist. Uh, the interpretation of frequentist requires the repetition, many, many repetition. And the Bayesian uh, interpreter probability has the strength of belief that tomorrow will be rainy, 1.3. So the interpretation of probability uh, interpretations of probability are different. Uh, the Bayesian the, uh, terminology of Bayesian comes from the Thomas Bayesian. Thomas Bayesian was an English statistician, philosopher, and minister. Um, he had very many jobs. And the Bayesian theorem was named after Thomas Bayesian. Thomas Bayesian constructed the Bayesian theorem. Uh, it is a well known Bayesian theorem. Uh, by the definition of probability and the property of the probability, is only the rearrangement of the probability and the conditional properties. But the contribution of Bayesian is that A can be observed data and B can be an observed quantity. You are interested, but an observed quantity B. So this probability means that uh, based on observed data, we can know about the B, unknown B. It's the main contribution of Bayesian. Uh, here is an example. Uh, Bayesian writes uh, some papers. And in the Bayes paper, uh, one of the Bayes interest is the problem about a uh, distribution for the probability parameter of a binomial distribution. Uh, it is related to the question such that if you observe that the sun rose at every morning for the previous 10 days, what's the probability that the sun rises tomorrow on the previous observations? Is the uh, raise this question. And they try to solve this problem uh, by the use of probability and mathematics. Uh, formulations to solve this problem is like this. Uh, the Bayes paper uh, wasn't like this, but uh, we uh, formulate the basic problem by the help of modern statistics. Here, why I follow the random variable of uh, binary uh, distribution with the parameter theta. And the sun doesn't rise with the probability one minus theta, and the sun rise with the probability theta. And basic three theta as the, as the random quantity. Thus, uh, he formulated probability like this. Uh, y star is the uh, new uh, and future random variable. And y1 to n is the observed uh, data. Uh, from this data, uh, we want to know the, this probability. Based on the previous data, uh, you want the probability of the new and the observed random quantities. Uh, to solve this problem, Bayes introduced this integration. This integration is to rearrange the probability uh, and the conditional probability. 
But in this rearrangement, uh, this term should be required. This term is essential to uh, obtain this probability. So, in this formula, we can find two things, two important things. Uh, first is that this formulation means that the prediction is the prediction of Y star from the observed training data. Uh, is the same to the uh, usual formulation in machine learning or uh, prediction problems. And it requires the, this probability and how to obtain this probability. And Bayes' theorem comes from this. Bayes' theorem uh, is constructed to obtain this probability. And this probability can be formulated like this. It's the construction of posterior and Bayes' theorem. Here, to obtain this, we should consider the set as random because set follows the P, the prior. So the basic idea uh, is essential uh, to treat set as random. I, I uh, in my tutorial, I skip two basic factors or two rigorous formulations. I want to uh, uh, explain the uh, basic concept and the Bayesian, uh, what to do in, ba uh, in, in Bayesian, Bayesian analysis. Uh, the answer of the previous problem, if we observe the sun rising for the previous 10 days, the probability of the sun rising the next day, it can be solved, and the probability is like this. M plus uh, one divided by two, uh, divided by divided by n plus one. So if you observe the many many sunrise, the probability of uh, an event that uh, we observe the sunrise at tomorrow, we observe the sunrise at tomorrow, uh, increase and converge to one. But uh, it cannot be true. Uh, the, the basis formula and in this formula, why I follows the uh, independently, independently identical distribution. So it means that the random use of tomorrow are the same random use of the previous days. It's the assumption. So this absorption, if this absorption break, uh, this result uh, cannot hold. Anyway, I emphasize that uh, this approach, the wages approach, uh, provide the formulation of a prediction based on the observed data and the construction of priors. Uh, in Bayes' theorem, there are many honey issues, many, many, many honey issues, but I uh, write down some, some honey issues. Can the parameter set be random? Bayesian says yes. Set can be random, and the Bayesian treats set as the random. Uh, what distribution can be used for a P set? What distribution for the uh, can be used for the prior of theta. It's a very difficult question because uh, at the next section, I show the prior is very, very important. Very, very important. And it's the main research area uh, for the Vajans and the Vajian uh, aesthetics. The third is that uh, posterior. Uh, is the, I discovered this poster, this poster is a proper, it means that the integration of this function is equal to one. Uh, not proper. Uh, proper means that, not proper means that the integration of P 
and this quantum cannot be one, can be infinite or others. Uh, if P and this uh, probability uh, is not proper, can be pro cannot be proper, then although this P and this probability uh, cannot, be, uh, cannot be proper, but postulate can be proper. We observed some, we observed this phenomenon uh, in many models. Uh, in, in this case, there's no, is there no problem? Non-proper, non-proper, proper. It's okay? It's the question. Uh, but many Bayesians claim that it's okay. The prior and the posterior uh, are used to construct, uh, uh, sorry, the prior and uh, this probability uh, called as the likelihood in the radar uh, and probability of Y are used to construct the posterior only. So the posterior, if the posterior is proper, it's okay. Uh, other open problems uh, exist. Uh, in this section, I introduce prior likelihood and the posterior. I focus, I focus on the likelihood and the posterior. Uh, the prior, uh, the property of prior is very, very difficult. So I introduce the prior uh, very briefly. Uh, by Bayes' theorem, the posture can be formulated like this. Uh, is the uh, application of Bayes' theorem uh, to the probability of y and the prior of uh, theta. Uh, posterior is the prior multiplied by likelihood function of data y divided by marginal probability of data y. Uh, is the uh, basic formulation. And uh, here, SATA is the parameter space for uh, this SATA. And Y uh, are decomposed of the YI and given SATA. YI, YI are conditionally independent. Uh, Note that the probability of y is usually represented by the probability density function, and we are in the notation xi. Uh, it means that uh, the probability of y can be affected by x coded, but we omit this for the simplicity. Uh, first, we observe the likelihood function. Likelihood function L theta given Y is defined P Y given theta. Uh, what's the difference? P probability of Y? The argument. What's the argument of the function? Uh, likelihood comes from the probability of Y given theta. So usually we think that the probability of y uh, depends on theta. So theta uh, is the fixed unknown. Theta can be fixed unknown. But in Beijing, uh, we treat theta as random. So uh, we consider it as the function of theta given data y. So uh, we fix the observable data y and consider a function of theta, and it is called as the likelihood function. Uh, because uh, in the previous formulation, poster has the argument of theta. In this formulation, uh, poster uh, has the argument of theta. So this term, can be and should be interpreted as the argument of theta for the posterior. So the 
Uh, first last argument of sort of likely to coincide with this argument. Uh, what's the meaning of likelihood function? Is the second problem. Uh, what's the meaning of likelihood? The meaning is that probability of data given theta and theta can vary. So large value of likelihood function means the high probability of data with respect to theta. Is uh, the next page shows the uh, likelihood example of likelihood function. Observed data are one and minus from normal distribution with the mean mu and variance one. Here, uh, the argument of the likelihood function is mu. And the uh, fixed uh, quantity is the data. Then, with the axis of x, mu varies and likelihood has this likelihood has this value. So that we can find that uh, this maximized value. And the maximum likelihood estimate uh, can be found in this axis. Uh, maximum likelihood Estimate set a hack can be uh, defined like this using the likelihood function. Uh, the maximizer of likelihood function is a maximum likelihood estimator. It can depend, it, can, it depend on <coughs> data y. And the previous theorem says that under the regulatory condition, in the next phase, it's very low. The maximum likelihood estimate uh, uh, has the uh, accepting normality property. It means that maximum likelihood estimate uh, converges to the distribution with the mean set of zero and the covariance matrix uh, I set of zero inverse divided by N and I set of I said that zero is the Fisher information matrix. Uh, here, set of zero is the uh, parameter value, the white uh, parameter value generating, generating, generated Y. So uh, the observed, observed data has the probability def depending on set of zero and the maximum likelihood estimator uh, hold the uh, accepting normality. It's the very standard zero. The negative condition is very, very wrong. And the first is for the identifiable problem, and the second is the, uh, the property of parameter space, and the most important uh, Regular condition is so third and fourth. The integration and the differential they can be exchangeable, and the matrix of I set zero is the efficient information matrix of positive definite. Uh, they are messy regular conditions. Anyway, these conditions are not strong, so we can use the maximum likelihood estimator in many models. But maximum likelihood Estimator has some limitations. In some models, very critical. The maximum likelihood estimator valid in the universal density. It means that the maximum likelihood estimator has the unique maximi maximizer. Uh, if there are uh, many, many, uh, <coughs> if there are many, many local maximizer, uh, you can have a very, very difficult problem. Uh, to obtain an optimization. Uh, mixture distribution requires other approaches such as EM, expectation and maximization algorithm. Uh, it cannot be inferred by the direct direct, directly uh, using the maximum likelihood estimator. And 
the more important thing is that uh, in prediction, we can use p y star given uh, maximum likelihood estimator set ahead can be used to assess the random behavior of the new unobserved y star. Usually we do this. But many statisticians do not prefer to use this. Instead, they prefer to use uh, this probability. P y star given y. And it requires the posterior. I show some simulation studies. If data, si data of size 5 are generated from the normal distribution with mean theta and variance sigma squares, uh, the new y star is the uh, same distribution. Then the new y star should be in the 90% prediction intervals with a probability of 1.5 when the prediction interval based on the observed y are exactly constructed. It's the confidence problem. Here, uh, notice that we generate only uh, five, uh, data of size 5, very small data. Then, it's the simulation result. In this figure, zero means the exclusion of y star in the 90% prediction interval. So, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's default. Uh, if you have the best prediction interval, it makes the uh, height of var is equal to uh, 1 point, 1 point, uh, 0.1. So, the Bayesian. Uh, the uh, makes the height of the bar uh, near uh, 0 0.1, but the uh, maximum likelihood estimator uh, makes the height of the bar uh, near 1.2, at uh, 0.2. So, Bayesian can assess the randomness in the estimation, but uh, the maximum likelihood estimator can have uh, severe problems in the small data. Uh, the, the more critical problem can be found in the high dimensional setter. If we consider the dimensions of setter is very, very large, uh, what's the behavior of maximum likelihood estimator? Uh, in 1948, the Neyman and the Scott uh, published the uh, paper in econo econ uh, economics, uh, very, very uh, surprising result. Here, YIT follows normal distribution, uh, mu t and sigma scales, and I is 1 and 2, t is 1, uh, from 1 to n, how many parameters in this problem, in this model? Mu 1 to mu n. So the parameter, number of parameters is n plus 1. But how many data we have? 2 n. 2 multiplied by n. So the parameter is the number of parameters is very, very large. In this case, the maximum likelihood est estimate fails. The severe problem is that uh, uh, the maximum likelihood of four sigma scales also fail. So all maximum likelihood estimators fail. So in high dimensional problem, the maximum likelihood estimate uh, cannot be used. Uh, th this page is about uh, uh, other interpretation. Uh, recall that we discussed about the likelihood. 
The posterior is composed of likely the prior and the marginal uh, probability of y, and I only uh, discuss about the likelihood and the li maximum likelihood estimator with the priors. And the other issue is the, uh, marginal inference and the conditional inference. The vision uh, are the variance are natural for the conditional inference because it uh, starts from the conditional probabilities. In many problems, we consider two inference. If you consider lifetime, the estimation of mean lifetime and the digital lifetime are different. For individuals, digital lifetime is more valuable. How can I, how long I can live after age of 40 or 30? It's very important for the individuals. But how long can humans live? Is the important for individuals, for all individuals? Maybe not. So it requires the uh, conditional inference. So the conditional inference is very, very important in many matters. And the Bayesian is very effective in conditional inference. Conditional inference uh, also, conditional inference are sufficient to marginal inference. It means the marginal inference can be done by, by using the conditional inference. If we accumulate the conditional inference, we can reach the marginal inference. And the conditional inference is more informative in some sense. Uh, in the previous page, I claimed that uh, you should use the Bayesian for the more uh, informative inference. Mm. Now I return to posterior. Uh, and the posterior can be obtained from likelihood and the prior. Uh, what's the role of marginal property of Y? It has no argument of theta. So the posterior is proportional to likelihood function and the prior. Uh, it is called as the corner function. If we know the corner function, the posterior can be constructed like this. So the uh, sampling and uh, obtaining the uh, posterior mean uh, usually use the corner function not the marginal probability of y. And probability, uh, posterior, uh, the uh, uh, posterior should have two properties. Uh, the first is that it should be proper. If it cannot be proper, if it is not proper, it's very, very severe problems. And it can be better. It means that uh, using many, many priors, we can obtain many, many posteriors. But the posteriors, uh, among the posteriors, uh, the variance of uh, posterior decrease is better. So many, among many, many posteriors, usually we choose the posterior uh, the variance of which is very small. Uh, 